Hey guys, Simon Murray here, and today we're going to be looking at how to get really deep seamless fades. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to fade candy, jaquili yellow, into dirt track brown. But I'm not actually going to do that. I'm not going to fade two colors. When you fade two colors into each other, you get a lot of resistance in the middle here. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to spray the whole area the lightest color first, in this case, jaquili yellow. The reason why I want to put the lightest color down first is to keep my saturation. So, let's get started. Okay, so we're three down and one to go. Four coats is pretty much all you need for maximum saturation here, but I got three nice coats on, I'm just gonna put one more final coat on, and that's us done with the first color. Okay guys, so we've got full coverage now with the Jaquili Yellow and I've just done some basic retro striping here. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to come in with a Dirt Track Brown. Now I've got a mix ratio of 6 to 1 with 40-50 and I've got 10% 40-11 reducer. The reason why I want that extra mix is because I need transparency. The first color I want complete coverage. When you're coming in with the second, the darker color, you always want transparency. So I've gone for a 6 to 1 mixing ratio. Most important thing to understand when you're fading is never hold the gun at 90 degrees. 90 degrees is maximum transfer efficiency. That's the most efficient way you can possibly spray. When you're fading, you do not want efficiency. You want a massive air to paint ratio. So I'm using a high air pressure, very little paint, very little fluid whatsoever. And do not hold the gun at 90 degrees. I'm gonna keep the gun super shallow at about a 40 degrees angle, and that's gonna give me a nice seamless fade, okay? Okay guys, so I've got two coats on now, and I'm just going to come in with my third and final coat. At that stage I'm going to remove the fine lines here, and then I'm going to re-neutralize with another two additional coats, okay? Let's give it a go. Okay guys, so I've removed the tip, and then, I mean that's it, in theory I could just leave this down, I could clear a coat over the top, but just to put an extra twist in the story, I'm going to come back in and refade again, and I'm going to neutralize the yellow back into the dirt track brown a little bit, keep using the same mentality, but just to soften the fade a little bit, okay? Okay guys, we're pretty much finished here. This is ready for clear coat and then the colors will really pop. Uh, quick summary, four key points for fading, getting nice seamless fades. Come in with the lightest color first, full saturation. Then come in with a second color. Second color has to be transparent. Hold your gun at 45 degrees and only fade in one direction. That's it. All right. Thanks for watching.